So let me explain about the contact bed filter. So contact bed filter, it is a biological treatment technique used to treat the sewage. So earlier we have discussed the intermittent sand filter. So here this contact bed filter, it is similar to that of this intermittent sand filter in construction. Except that in contact bed filter, we are using broken stones or broken bricks of 20 mm to 50 mm size materials we are using. So here we are using coarser materials compared to that of the finer materials which are used in intermittent sand filter. And here the contact bed, it is a watertight tank of masonry walls and it is of rectangular in shape and the depth of this filter media varies from 1 to 1.8 meter and the normally we can adopt a depth of 1.2 meter and this tank it is generally dug below this ground level and is lined with watertight cement plaster of concrete surface instead of masonry and here a siphonic dosing tank is provided to serve two or three contact beds and the effluent from the primary settling tank it is first received by this dosing tank and then distributed over one contact bed at a time and the effluent after passing over this coarse filter media is collected at the bottom and conveyed through the under drain system and here from the under drain system it other effluent it can be sent to the secondary sedimentation tank that is for settling out the oxidized organic matter and here the sewage is uniformly applied over the whole surface of the contact bed that is by using this distribution troughs and the sewage is uniformly spread onto this contact bed and here the rate of loading it is very low it can vary from 4000 to 6000 meter cube per hectare per day and the operation of this contact bed here the complete cycle of operation of contact bed contains four operations filling second one contact third one emptying and fourth one oxidation now first one it is filling so for this filling the outlet valve of the under drain is closed and the tank is slowly filled with sewage effluent through the dosing tank and here the depth of sewage effluent it can be 5 to 10 centimeter over the top of this bed and this filling usually it takes about one to two hours and the second operation it is the contact so contact means the dosing tank outlet is then closed and the sewage is submitted over the contact bed it is allowed to stand for about two hours here and during this period what happens is that the colloid and the dissolved matter get transferred to the filter media and comes in contact with the bacterial filling covering the filter media and the third process is empty so in this process of emptying the outlet valve of the under drain is then open and the sewage present in this contact bed is withdrawn slowly without disturbing the organic filling this operation takes about one to two hours and the fourth operation is oxidation that is in this oxidation process the contact bed is allowed to stand empty for four to six hours so four to six hours the contact bed it is stand, is allowed to stand empty and during this period of rest what happens is that the atmospheric air enters into the void space of the contact media thus supplying oxygen to the aerobic bacteria which result in the oxidation of organic matter present in the filling. So this is the working of this contact bed filter. Now the advantages of this contact bed filter is that contact beds it can work under even small head and can be operated without exposing the sewage effluent and here Compared to the Strickling filter here there is no nuisance of filter flies and the problem of water is also less compared to that of this trickling filter and the disadvantage of this filter is that the rate of loading is very less compared to that of trickling filter and large area of land is required for their installation. Here the operation is not continuous it is intermittent so therefore continuous uh, attention should, is required because intermittently we are operating here this filter. And another disadvantage is that the cost of contact bed is more compared to that of this trickling filter. So these are the advantages, disadvantages of the contact bed filter.